Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 46 of Atoll's Prep. I'm making a game called Space Invention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market a lively business to save the most alien lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are you ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. Update one. Sucky alien continue. So I tried doing more stuff with the currently unnamed Sucky Alien, whatever we'll call it. I did some stuff with animations with that, trying to make a hit and die animation. And it's working decently well. The die animation is a little weird with how if you click it again while it's dying, then it bugs out a little bit. Um, but I'm adding a little bit more animation to that. I'm using animation behaviors, which is something I haven't used before. It's kind of like a, a script um, thing. Um, I'm still experimenting with that, but starting to do that, it's looking cool. Training. My karate and tricking training has been going well. I'm still trying to send those back handsprings, and I've really been appreciating the support, especially from Dave and House. I will get these. And my singing training is going great as well. And don't worry about Whamageddon, it's a Taylor Swift version. It's last Christmas, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away. Update 2. Sprite experimentation. I made a basic UI background sprite because I don't want to use the default Unity panels, so I went into Photoshop and made my own custom sprite. I'll be honest, the design is inspired from Artindi. Look, Look mom, I'm a clone. It's very basic and not final, but I was messing around with the sprite editor uh, to make the actual UI scalable. I haven't really dealt with that before. Uh, I guess I was kind of naive. Um, how you scale UI and depending on how it is in the sprite editor, it will look different. So if you kind of edit the middle portion of it, it I guess scales better. I, I really don't know a whole lot about it, so I'm still researching that, but it looks like it will help a lot. And I also worked with the worker skin color. So I want to have the workers look different from each other. Uh, currently, I started with the office workers where I separated the sprite into a silhouette layer and a skin layer. And Unity doesn't do Photoshop layers, so what you have to do is kind of make it like a sprite sheet um, and I cut multiple sprites, I cut it out so the left side is the silhouette, the left side is the silhouette, and the right side is the skin, and I just changed the image color of the skin to make it look different from each other. I don't know if that's how I'm going to do it in the end game because if I do random skin colors like that, it might give you some weird colors, so I might just have like three preset options to make it just look a little bit different so everyone's not the same. Project overview. I have spent 355 minutes on art. 1,485 minutes on programming and 60 minutes on animation up until this point. And here is the timeline of the game development cycle for Space Invention Force. Update 3. Little improvements. So I did do a lot of bug fixing this week as well, especially with the marketing manager and the productivity. It literally took me 30 minutes to figure out one line of code that was messed up. That's smooth. But thankfully the productivity is not fixed with that. Additionally, I found a script on a Unity forum for uh, smooth camera zooming, um, and I pretty much just took that. Um, and it is it is a lot better than just the snappy kind of camera moving I had before. I'm still experimenting with the speed values, but that looks cool. I also fixed the competition manager, so now it actually takes into account market share. So now it scales correctly with how your market share is versus theirs, so it doesn't increase weird. And I also fixed with the UI manager, I had the de deactivate all UI uh, function in every case, and as a few of you pointed out, I don't need that. I'm going to put it outside. So I did that. So thank you to Joel, Rob, and Michael for letting me know about that. Question. What was your favorite moment from the Game Awards? Uh, I personally liked Player Unknown's prologue, and it was really because the, the teaser trailer that they showed, it looked like the, the Book of the Dead demo from UD, and it was kind of weird because PUBG is in Unreal, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciated the comments from last week's video about the name suggestions and improvements, and I want you to know that I really loved reading those, and no matter who you are, I do love you and I really do appreciate you. I want to make sure you guys are doing well as well. I have a link to uh, Discord if you want to contact me through there. I want to see that you guys are doing well, and I want, to know, I want you guys to know that you guys are so awesome. I really appreciate every single one of you. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next level.